It's a meeting attended by members of the main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, and the ruling All Progressive Congress at the presidential villa. Now, Algerians may have expected the leaders to discuss socio-political issues like restructuring, but that did not come up in the opening of the meeting. Instead, the leaders promised to cooperate with the president for national development and growth. I want to reiterate our offer and assurances of the PDP's cooperation with the government on any program sincerely and holistically designed to take Nigeria to higher levels. We identify with and will continue to support the fight against terrorism as well as other crimes that have sneaked into our consciousness like kidnapping, banditry, as well as the farmers and husband clashes and other crimes camouflage in different forms. Irrespective of political limits, irrespective of religious limits, irrespective of ethnic limits, and if irrespective of the kind of invectives sometimes crossing the line of decency that have taken place in the last few months of your absence. I thank you, Mr. President, and it is my hope that this gentle, well thought out message will permeate the entire polity. President Buhari commended the opposition for the role they played during his medical vacation and asked them to rally Nigerians for national unity. This visit signifies the unity of Nigeria. It is not a party occasion, it is not a political gathering. It is a symbol of our national unity. It is, it is also an expression of the maturity of our democracy. Multi-party democracy is a very tried and tested form of government. Opposition does not mean hostility enmity or antagonism. Democracy needs opposition, one which is vibrant but responsible. The leaders of the parties depart the meeting with a promise to join hands to address the challenges confronting the nation.